Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As y'all know, this is your girl Malik Nicole. So, I had to re-record this video because I had posted it and I was unaware that the sound had cut out. But the life of a YouTuber, that is okay. Thank goodness I still had my makeup on. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut into like a part of the video where it actually shows you how I had actually put the lace on and how easy it was to slay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut into that video and then I'm going to come back with my final review. So this video is brought to you by Ebony Line and I got this new slay from Altre. No, I was not trying to rhyme, but <laughs> it's a new slay from Altre and it's the Annie Bob 12 inches and I got it in the color cinnamon mocha. So it looks like it just has a standard packaging, just like nothing too much going on over here. So I'm going to take this out. That way I can show y'all the inside of the cap construction before I go ahead and put this baby on. So this is how the color looks. Here's the stock color, by the way. Both of the colors that they're advertising are really pretty. And this is the color guide in the back. And and the instructions so so far this is how it looks straight out of the pack and i'm already loving it it feels so soft y'all when i say so soft i mean very soft so it does come with a swiss lace the lace does seem kind of light so it looks like depending on your skin complexion you're going to have to use some foundation for it to blend in um, it looks like it has some baby hair action going on. Looks like a pretty much of a standard cap construction. Three cones, one on the right, one on the left. One in the back with two adjustable straps. Ear to ear lace with a lace middle part. So yeah, y'all, this is a middle part. So y'all already know how I am. One, y'all already know I'm not like a big fan of middle parts because, you know, I'm forehead friendly and bobs because I don't know, I just like long hair, but I'm not gonna judge it yet. I'm gonna see how this baby looks because when I tell you this color and this the texture of it, now it looks like a yucky texture, but it does not feel coarse at all, it feels really soft. So it is mimicking like a blown out natural hair texture. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut this baby, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to put it on. back with my final review so you see this big smile on my face do you see this big smile yes this smile is for this wig and i'm letting you already know go ahead and get this wig because i have a feeling that it is going to be sold out because this hair is very pretty now i do want to let y'all know and i'm being very honest as i had mentioned there were two things that i do not like when it comes to hairstyles I'm not a big fan of middle parts, and I'm not the biggest fan of bobs. I'm not. And <laughs> this wig has two of those things. And with this on and this color, this style, this texture, okay, baby, it has changed my mind. This is an example of how you should always step out 
outside of your comfort zone. Now, I know with my channel, I dibble and dabble in a lot of different hairstyles and colors. But like everybody else, we have like our go-to style. I am a side part. I am a feathered bang with like big bear curls. That is my signature style. That is what I usually go for when I'm looking for a hairstyle when it comes to picking out a wig. And this right here, this really has brought me back to life on how I just need to try new things to wear on a consistent basis. So this is probably going to be my go-to wig starting in November. Now y'all know we already have go-to wigs. We have those type of wigs. Or we be like, nah, I'm not going to wear that until like December. Nah, I'm not going to wear that until it's summertime. <laughs> this wig, this wig is about to be my November fall wig. Because she is so I'm pretty. Now, once again, this is Outre HD Lace in the style Annie Bob. And it's 12 inches. It is curling iron safe up to 400 degrees. So if you don't really like the crinkles in it, I love the crinkles in it, by the way. You can just always go lightly over it with either like a straightening comb or a flat iron. But I love the coarse like texture of it. Now, it has the appeal of a coarse texture. But when you touch it, it is so soft. Like just look at my fingers run through this wig. So you see that it does not tangle. Now... I don't have any adhesive on this wig, as you can tell, and it is very secure, very secure. Now, my little tr trick that I like to do is I like to just sometimes put a little hair behind my ear underneath the flap, and then that way it will just secure the flap from, you know, flipping up. And you can do that on this side as well, because I'm one of those people, and I'm going to be honest, like when I put my wigs on, I just like to cut on. Put a little foundation on coming out and go out the door it's just fortunate enough that my wigs just still look pretty like i did a lot of plucking cutting laying down with a scarf and i really don't i love the easy goingness of this wig because when i come home i want to take this baby off and put her on the doorknob or put her back in the bag and with this wig, you're definitely going to get your money worth. Now, I did get this from ebonyline.com. And, yeah, definitely showing out. Definitely very pocket-friendly. And this hairstyle has blown me away. So, when you get this wig, I hope it blows you away. Now, I do want to be honest and say, it gives you somebody. It gives you, like, a little va va boom right here, you know. Not too much. Not too much, just enough density. But in the back, I don't know if it's just because of my braid pattern or my hair shape. It could be. But when I like rub my hand on this side, it seems like a lot more thicker. Like I can't like feel the tracks. But then when I rub my hand on this side, I feel like I could feel the rimples of like of the tracks. And I know when I was putting a wig on, like you can kind of see through the wig in the back. So for me, for my liking, if they just added maybe like one or two tracks, um, just, just for my security of fullness in the back, that would definitely be a plus. And literally, that's, that's all I have to say about it. You know, it's something that I can live without, but would, great, would greatly appreciate it if I had like that one or two tracks. Now with this color, get this color. Okay, get this color. Now, this is also another perfect example of how you can get a style. A regular style, but it could be brought up a notch when you get it in a different color. Because this color, I was thinking about getting the 1B. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the 1B for the people. You know, we all like our natural colors for our everyday wear. And then I was like, you know what? I need something different. I need a little more color, something a little more warm against my skin tone. You know, not too much. And I'm so happy that I went and I got this color. Now, this is the DRFF2 slash Cinnamon Mocha. And I believe, yep, and this is the color that is shown on a stock card. So, this is what actually has sold me. And I was going to get it in this color, which is the 1B. 
Because I was like, oh, that's cute. You can't go wrong. But this one, y'all know what y'all doing with the stock cars now. Y'all know on how to sell it. Y'all know on how to sell it. But it does come in a range of other colors if you are interested in more of a red or more of a blonde. If you prefer. But I have a feeling that this color is going to be sold out. It has like this strip of cinnamon. I'm guessing this is the cinnamon. This could be the cinnamon right here. And this is probably the mocha. I'm guessing. But I love the highlight framing in the front of this wig. They definitely did a superb job with this color. And I just cannot stop raving about it. I can't stop touching it because it's so soft and it's so pretty. It lays really nice. Just take a look at the part. All I did was just put some foundation on my part right here just to make it more pronounced. And that was it. That's it. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you a 360. So this is how the hair looks all in the front. This is how the hair looks on the side. This is how the hair looks all in the back and this is how the hair looks on the right side very pretty very very pretty and it's not too bulky in the back all right so you gotta appreciate a bob whoever did this make sure they style this bob to perfection because i know sometimes when we get bobs it get like get like this y'all know what i'm talking about but this seems to lay really nice no matter what profile you're giving them side side front left right or back but make sure y'all go ahead and check out ebony line make sure y'all go ahead and check out this wig like i said make sure you get it not one but two and also make sure you check out my next slay y'all because i know i've been dropping <laughs>